But now we are getting ready for what promises to be a fun match. Yeah. Between a powerhouse and maybe not someone you've heard of that much, but our number one yeah. qualifier and number two qualifier in the Barebow Senior Men are getting ready to get after it. This should be quite a fun match uh -oh. and an exciting match because we have someone who cares about fashion and someone who does not. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. As our archers step onto the field of play for our final match of the 2021 U.S. Open for the senior barebow category for the men. On the right side of your screen, Matt Yaka from Fort Collins, Colorado, coming in at the ripe old age of 48. And next to him, from Kingsley, Pennsylvania, a legend in archery, the archer who owns all the world records, John Demmer III. Yeah, and, and a dressing record, I'm sure. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, always ha he always has his attire on. and No fashion and, sense. And like we talked a little bit about earlier is the brackets. This is number one versus number two. Yes. You I know? believe it's our first match, of, our only match of the day that sees number one facing yeah. off number two. And John... Uh, he pretty much did work on the crew for the whole Nationals. I mean, he won by 60, almost 70 points. Unreal. This guy has done it all. He starts oh. off. With a four, a little wide right. A little wide right. But that. the nice part is in that type avenue is, uh, again, it could be erased. He may mm -hmm. lose the set, but it's not going to beat him as bad as if it was a straight score. So Yaka opening up with an eight. Follows eight. it back up with an eight. Mm -hmm. Matt Yaka has been shooting a variety of different bows over the course of his lifetime. The president of his local eight. archery club in Fort Collins, Colorado, does a lot of volunteering. He's a personal trainer by trade. So for Matt Yaka, his opportunity to shoot come after work in the afternoon, Man. sometimes in the evenings. He sometimes he'll even take a nap and then he'll head out to the range and put in the work. That's a good one. Wow. Very nice, a 988, which will give him the set. Mm -hmm. And like I said, a lot of times it's hard to come out from the practice field over here to see where you're going to hit. And maybe that's what got John. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't a good shot. We, there's a lot of avenues you can go I mean, with. You have been in this situation, this stage, the world stage Rio, no matter how many times you go through it, is there a possibility that nerves can play into it? Oh, 100%. 100%. I don't care if you won every match that you ever shot in. Mm -hmm. You're, you're going to get nervous. I mean, we can look at guys even... Even Mikey Saucer, who we've seen, you know, get down to the last arrow and it just melt down because it, it, it is nerves. And, and I've yet to ever see anyone that walks out there that doesn't get nervous. I mean, if they have, I, they've never, I've never seen them because, I mean, they do a lot. Yeah, especially with the crowd we have watching, especially with the popularity yeah. of Barebo, as well as the competition archery media cameras are rolling. It definitely can put some pressure on you, not to mention just your personal goals. Yep, yeah, for sure. So the first two set points go to Matt Yaka. Well, and Matt has an interesting coach in the box in Justin Hewish. You want to tell us more about that? Uh, that would be your Olympic gold medalist <laughs> from the Atlanta Olympics. He won individual and team gold. And Justin's been kind of trying to make a little comeback, been doing really well, and starting to make some, some headway. He told me this weekend he got a little nervous when he was getting closer to doing well, and Said he's just got to work through that, but he's getting there. But yeah, kind of an interesting person to have as your coach in the bear box or bear bow box. As opposed to on the John Demmer side, he has Claire Z. Yeah. An absolute beast of a bear bow shooter in her own right. Ooh, a little bit of a flinch there from Demmer. But he pulls it back in and ends up with an eight. Yeah. Definitely not Demmer's first rodeo as the no. owns all the records. Yeah. What records there are in bear bow. I like what I'm seeing oh, from. Right. I'm loving what I'm seeing from this young man, Yaka, <laughs> at 48 years yeah, he's old. He's been solid the whole time he stepped out here. There you go. Yeah. Demmer's starting to get her dialed in. Feel the flow. Yeah. JD3 moving closer to the middle, trying to put some pressure on Matt Yaka, who's got a two point set advantage. He's down one point in this set, so 
Demmer with a good arrow can take this set. If you're just tuning in, 50 meters downrange on a 122 centimeter target Matt. face. Matt could use a 10 here to tie the set. Not easy with a bare bow. No. Uh. Uh. Now we have, tie we have a tied match now. Two set points, two set points. Yeah. John Demmer rocking those shorts. I, I mean, how else do I put it? Just I those know. shorts. I, I remember meeting John the first time when we were in Warsaw, Poland for the World Games, and he had some pretty colorful stuff on, and we were like, oh, hey. And <laughs> it was pretty entertaining for sure. Definitely something you can say about JD3, John Demmer, is that, you know, as – a world record owner of so many. He's a leader in Barebo and the openness of information yeah. that flows in and out of him, the welcoming attitude of John Demmer of people into the community in Barebo has, in my opinion, he's been one of the leaders to set the tone as yeah. to how incredible it is. You know, Rio, you and I both competed this weekend on the field of play and between where I was shooting and where you were shooting, we had barebow competitions. And how many times, just at any time, give you know, during the course of the tournament, did you hear people just start yelling, Barebow! Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a it's a group that it's it's a family that is totally different. I mean, I can go to an event and you better be careful because if you're going to dinner, they may have the whole restaurant tied down with their yeah, group going true. out. That is true. They are a group that travels together and they enjoy each other and have a good time. And that that to me is that's what archery is about: having a good time and enjoying it. And it's I think that one of the greatest examples is who's in the coaching box for John Demmer. Yeah, you know where Claire Z kind of came on the scene just three short years ago and. Now, now deeply tied into the community and getting an opportunity to stand in the coach's box for the legend, JD3. So Demmer's thoughts are on. Yeah. Hey, it didn't look like he liked the shot, but it was solid scoring. Yeah, yeah, he didn't love it for sure. He kind of had that look at it, but, but we've seen that today. And maybe mm -hmm. that wind coming around the end of that, that stand is causing a little bit of that. Another quick shot just, just eight, outside eight. of the nine ring. As for Matt Yaka, we talk about fashion sense. We look at John Demmer, who enjoys it. Yaka's been shooting nothing but Godzilla and Jaws t-shirts. Got the Godzilla on for this gold medal match. I like the fierceness of that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We're tied after two arrows, so. Oh, and an eight. All right, so doors open. Yeah, he can get the set points to take a 4-2 lead. Any time, 10 seconds still left on the shot clock. Ooh. We have our first split. Explain that. The two guys have shot 25 points total with their three arrows. So now they will get each one get one set point versus the normal two for for winning it or the zero for losing it. So now it makes it a little more interesting because if the two guys win the next two sets, each one, mm -hmm. we could have our one arrow shoot off we've talked about a little bit today. So this is at the end of end three. Five ends available to shoot. Yeah. If it goes that far. Yes. Boy, a shoot off in senior men barebow for the gold medal would be just a treat. It would be oh, the yeah. capper to an outstanding weekend. Yeah. Here at Dory Park in Virginia. USA Archery partnering with the Richmond Virginia Tourism Board putting on an outstanding show for us, a great yeah. event. Yeah, for sure. They've done a really good job. That's kind of cool, too, to see. Uh, Barebow, Hoyt really just kind of started really putting stuff in and wanting to do more in Barebow in the last few years, too. And, and I mean, you see they got a weight system on the uh, mats bow, and it's just it's interesting to see. Because, like I said, the inflow of people, companies want to provide stuff for them, so it's – it's been kind of a cool deal to see them get into it because it had been a lot of off brands that have been doing it for mm -hmm. them. Especially brands from Europe. Yeah. And Korea as well. Yeah. A lot of Italian. Yeah. Barebow bows in the mix. Now Hoyt in it. Yeah. And what a shooter to get in there oh, with. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. That is what we call putting pressure on your competitor. Yeah, for sure. As Demmer just drains one in the 10. We'll see what Matt Yaka has in store for us. And there's nothing worse than them having a 10 already down there and you have to shoot an arrow. Yeah. Ooh, gust of wind just picked up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, oh that was as close. Just outside, yeah. Ah, oh, the disappointment on Matt's face. 
Okay. Then we're the nine. So he can get a ten and tie it back up. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh. God, he's right there. Yeah. Boy, Demmer. Ooh, Ooh, with an eight. With an eight. Okay, so door open. I was going to say in the middle could close this thing yep. out. Oh, boy. Here it goes. Nine. Nine. Oh, so we end up, he gets. He should get the set points, 27-26. 27-26. That means two points are going to go to Matt Yaka. But we've got to get down there, have the judges take a closer look. All right, so we're looking there at 10, 9, 8. That looks like a 27, 27 to, me. to me. Yeah, 27. So I believe we're going to be tied up. Tied up, I think so too. So another split set. Yeah, that was a good one for sure. To put it, to put it out there and throw the pressure on your competitor, that was a nice start for John. Mm -hmm. Still waiting for those scores to come back. If you're curious as to how the actual scoring system works uh, here in Dory Park. For okay, there we go. Now we're at four. Now four. we're at four. Yeah. Yeah. So here at Dory Park uh, in the 137th U.S. National Target, which happened the first two days, and now the 2021 U.S. Open, uh, you score with a tablet, electronic scoring, as well as mm -hmm. written scoring. Yeah. Each. It's so normally when you're shooting these these qualification rounds, you're going to have the people on your bail will split duties as to call arrows, score arrows on tablet or paper, and then one person gets to sit around and enjoy everybody else's work. Yes. <laughs> I did have an older gentleman one time tell me, he says, you know how you do this? You wait back till everybody else gets it settled, and then you get to <laughs> is just that watch. What this, is that what the key is? Don't be so anxious to get to the bail for <laughs> yeah. the, first, the first end. He says, they'll have it figured out by the time you get there. I was like, oh, that's an interesting thought process, but... All tied up for the gold medal. Oh, and he starts off with a good nine. Yes, good solid nine for John Demmer. And he needs this one. Oh, no, we're at four, so he can. <laughs> they need to split again, so we have a one-hour shoot-off. Yeah. This but the they have split the last two, so. And this is the fifth and final end. Yeah. It's so funny because a nine is just not a given in bare bow. But the way these two are shooting. And they're shooting them. They are going toe-to-toe. Oh to toe. How do you like this match? Oh, this is awesome. This arrow is so important for Demmer. He puts an eight. Oh, the door's open. Oh, yeah. It's open for Yaka. If he can get in the gold, he's going to win the gold medal. He does oh, it ten. ten. He finishes with a boom. Wow. Oh. How do you like that one? The most important and arrow of the day, and 48-year-old Matt Yaka. And he knew as soon as he shot it. Oh, somebody call a plumber. He just put that one right in the drain. Yeah, he nailed it. Unbelievable. And Matt, the cool part is look how excited he is. That's. He can't even believe it. Yeah. He came in here with no expectation. Just a, a person who enjoys the outdoors yeah. with his wife, Julie, with their pets, and just the pride of the Fort Collins Archery Club, the president of the Archery Club. He says his life is about personal training and archery. And wow, what a match put on by both athletes. It coming down to the final arrow. And John Demmer put the pressure on Matt Yaka and Yaka able to answer the call. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Answers an understatement. He stuffed that one in the tan. Dude, he stuffed it. I can't wait to get him on the headset and find out how this one went. <laughs> because we didn't even talk about all the other factors no. involved with the wind and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, well, maybe I knew, Matt. Maybe I knew that we were going to be talking here after this gold medal match. The swagger, the casualness of you entering this. And, man, you stuffed a 10 to do it all at the end. Congratulations. How are you feeling? Uh, it's so overwhelmed. I'm, I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> this is, is unbelievable. I, I just can't believe it. I mean, let's talk about your journey to even get here, man. Like, how are you shooting and why did you decide to come to this match? Everything. Um, you know, I, Bear Bow has always just been um, – 
you know, a thing I wanted to try, I tried Olympic recurve and you know, I didn't do so well. And I, I, I'm a trad shooter by heart and bare bows the next step in, in competition. So this is where I wanted to go. It's cool. Been, how, how, did, how, how nervous were you on that last arrow? <laughs> I, I didn't even know the score because they weren't flipping the cards. So I had I just kept hearing tie, tie, tie. And, you know, John is a stellar shooter. I mean, the best, right? And to, to you know, I was just so nervous. I don't know. I just, Justin said, just take no prisoners. And, I did, you know, I just held it on and released. And here I am. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. Yeah, well, you came through with an awesome 10 there right at the end. That was a thank you. very impressive performance. Yeah. Well, I think it's time for you to get back to the archery club in Fort Collins, and they yeah. need to throw a big party for you. <laughs> I guess so. This is unbelievable. Thanks, guys. I yeah. appreciate it. Thank ah, you. Congratulations. Thank what you. a show for us. Thank we you. really appreciate it. Thank you. And enjoy the title of 2021 thank U.S. You. Open champion. I can't believe it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. Take thank care. You. Congrats. Wow, Matt Yakka does it over the legend John Demmer, and you can see how excited he is, and that's what archery does for you, Rio. Oh, that's awesome. That was a great match. I mean, we would like to have seen maybe one or two one-arrow shootoffs, but that ended up, that pretty much was a one-arrow shootoff. They both had that last arrow to do what they did, and he stepped it up and did amazing.